Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another Loop Hero video. Uh, today I'm going to be, um, I think I'm gonna actually try something a little bit different. I'm gonna go back to chapter one and I'm gonna take the wheat fields away, but I'm gonna use the Grove Blood Grove combo to see if maybe I can just do like the villages and uh, make those really um, like packed with units. Cause that's kind of what we're going for um and then instead of spider cocoons i'm thinking maybe battlefield so if i get the well no nah, i'm not gonna change too much i'll see how this goes and then uh if it doesn't go so hot i'll add in the battlefield uh and then i th i think i need oblivion court cards as well just in case but uh yeah if you guys don't know what I'm doing, uh, right now I'm trying to get these little uh, resource orbs. They're called uh, orbs of expansion. Uh, the only way to get them is if I fight groups of enemies uh, that are four or larger, I believe. And uh, the chances for them dropping are really low. But we have um, these, which increase the chance of a rare item. Uh... Oh, crap. That doesn't do what I think it did. Dang it, I just read it out loud and realized how stupid I was being. <laughs> so, this makes your item uh, chance better, not your um, resources. I thought that it made my chance to get an orb of expansion 10% better, not a rare item, which is what it says. Dang it. <laughs> well... That's okay. It's still really good to have this, but oof, I was uh, reading things wrong. Ripperoni. All right. Well, let me fix it for chapter one real quick. Anyways. Oh crap! I can't add another one of those. I'm being a dingus. There we go. There we go. All right. That should be good. Okay. And uh, I'm going to be playing as the Necromancer. There's the Warrior, the Rogue, and the Necromancer. Uh, I think the Necromancer is just the strongest. That's why I've been playing as him. But um, also, it combos well with the Storm Temple, but I won't go into that. Alright, let me throw down my Ancestral Crypt real quick. So... What my character is going to be doing, uh, I have a new person in the uh, Twitch chat. They haven't seen me play this game before, so that's why I'm uh, describing it a bit more. Um, we're on like part uh, 23, I think, on the YouTube videos. So <laughs> I, I'd imagine that a lot of the people watching on YouTube probably already kind of get the idea. But um, yeah, anyways, we are going through the loop uh, over and over again. And every single time that we go through, the enemies get a little bit harder. They level up. And also, um, you place down tiles that spawn different units. So like the Grove, it spawns a Rat Wolf every two days. So uh, here's the Daylight Meter. So we haven't quite finished a day yet. And we're, um, we're already not even that far. So that was a full day right there. So I think I'm going to try to put this hmm. I'm actually gonna try to put it here so I can put a blood grove here I'll put the vampire mansion here so um yeah whenever I come back around the loop there should be a rat wolf here also these are little slimes waiting on the trail for me uh they just have a five percent chance of spawning on the road tile or the wasteland tile every day and uh they're not too bad Nice, we got a forest. So you'll see sometimes I place uh, tiles out here. That's because they don't do anything with the road or anything, or the wasteland tiles. Um, they give my hero like 1% attack speed, or like uh, extra HP, or uh, healing every day, stuff like that. So a uh, vampire tile was right next to that, so that's why there's a vampire attacking us as well here. Here's the meadow card that does the um, 
HP at the start of the day. So every day I get a little bit of health. And uh, these are just items that I got. They just increase my character stats. The different colors are, uh, they're different rarities. Orange is really, really good. So that's why I was like, oh crap, right whenever I got that. The ring. But yeah, as you can see, the necromancer, he, uh, oh, this one's better. He um, spawns skeletons behind him and then the skeletons do all the work while he just chills and continues spawning them. If you have spawned all the skeletons that you possibly can though, uh, whenever your meter fills, you do do a um, attack. Crap, I should not have put that there. I'm trying to make a line of forest for uh, my storm temple. You'll see, you'll see what I mean whenever I get one. All right, and then I think I'm gonna put a village on both sides of this. Yeah, because I'm the villages can spawn ghouls. <laughs> Excuse me, the villages spawn uh, four ghouls, and that's perfect for what I'm trying to get. Because I'm trying to get those uh, orbs of expansion. We can see if I get one up here in my bag. Okay. We're almost done with the first loop here. Once you pass the loop tile, you get two potions and you get 30% um, HP. Yeah. So uh, that's pretty nice. Hey, we got a spider cocoon. Um, I'll go ahead and throw that right here. Then we'll throw the beacon down right there. So that'll give me 40% movement speed within its range and 20% attack speed for all units. And I also have an equipment back on the other screen that uh, gives me, I think it's 5% attack power or attack damage whenever I'm in the range of this. But I have two of them, so it's 10%. So that makes those tiles um, very nice for me. Hey, we got another spider cocoon. Uh, spider cocoons spawn one spider every day. Uh, so it gets a little overwhelming. It gets actually really overwhelming really quick. So you got to be careful. Oof, that was a lot. Okay. Oh, um... The reason those guys died so quick is because I put this Blood Grove card down next to it. Uh, they can only go by groves, and they devour enemies that have less than 15% health left. So, um, yeah, it's super strong. Oh, it looks like I can also put them next to other Blood Groves. I did not know that. Okay. So, I'm going to be putting the Storm Temple... I should have put it up here. Well. No, I should definitely put it right. Well, no. <laughs> Gosh dang it. I want one here. And I want one here. It just depends how lucky I get. I guess I need to put the one here first, though. So I'll start lying in the bottom with trees. And I'll save this blood grow for later. So we don't have any groups big enough quite yet. Hey, we got the storm temple. Oh, that was weird. A storm temple. So this will cause two random targets to get hit every five seconds in this range. And it also burns down all of these forests, which uh, they give me pure damage now instead of attack speed. So, uh, yeah. I think I'm going to try putting the thickets away from the storm temples because they give you 2% attack speed and it doesn't look like they convert how I want. I'm going to go ahead and put that there with the blood grove. And I'll keep throwing meadows down next to these. If you put meadows down next to other things, it turns them into uh, blooming meadows. 
Um, but it doesn't work if you put them next to other meadows. I forgot about that when I put that one down. Hey, another village. And I'll put the thickets up here, like I was saying. Uh, also, going through the village tiles, they heal you 25, which is pretty nice. And uh, they give you a quest, which is why uh, that slime had a bunch more health. It had a bunch more health and it gave me an extra item card. Uh, which I'm going to use right... Yeah, I'll put it right there. Uh, forest will burn that. Oh, and uh, if you put down 10 forests or thickets, uh, this will spawn, or this tile will spawn, and this tile spawns a wooden warrior every two days, uh, which are just like decoy guys. You'll kind of see what I mean. Forest. Also, um, I have a building where on this tile and this tile, both the ones around the campfire, uh, I get a archer who helps me out. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot that goes into this game, but you learn it as you go. And it's, like, not super hard. You just kind of let your guys do their thing. Try to figure out what strategies work. I gotta place down these tiles. Alright, so... These are going to have a crap ton of units in them. Uh, so I'm going to kind of chill over here. And I'm going to start putting stuff on this side. Yeah, I'll do it like that. So Deacon can help with all those. Awesome. I don't know if this is better. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, um, I don't know if I said, but this tile up here, if I die, I get resurrected. And, um, uh, it only happens once, though. So, you know, I can't keep using it. But, um, also it gives me plus three max HP for every enemy, every enemy with a soul killed by a hero. So, um, like there's battlefield cards or tiles that turn things into ghosts, so those wouldn't count. And some other things don't have souls, but I think a lot of the stuff that I'm fighting right now has a soul. Yeah, rat wolves have a soul. I'd imagine spiders do, too. I don't think they do in real life, though. Uh, so this is better. It's not as rare, but it's way better just because it's a level 4 item. That's not worth it. But yeah, uh, also, I don't think a lot of people play this game, but I'm sure there's people that know a lot more about this game than I do. I, like, have barely scratched the surface. I think I'm gonna put this here, and then I'm gonna make th this tile a little bit worse. Because I have two villages here, so I'm gonna be healing a bunch as I go through. Put the thicket up here. And I'll throw the vampire mansion down there. Because I have a lot of items that uh, like decrease the vampire's damage to me. So that helps out quite a bit. Hey, I leveled up. But yeah, uh, this is my XP bar here. Every time you level up, you get a nice, uh, nice cool little perk. Or trait is what they call them. Each allied skeleton heals the hero for three times the loop HP when it dies. That's actually kind of nuts. I've never seen that one before. 
When an allied skeleton kills an enemy, it fully heals itself and gets a 10% damage and HP buff for the rest of the battle. Both of these are really good. I think this one might be better, but I want to use this one just because I've never seen it. That sounds awesome. Alright, these are those dummies that I was talking about. Whenever you hit them, they counter your moves. They're kind of weird. I don't... I can't tell if they're, like, strong or not. Dang, yeah, that heals me for quite a bit, that ability. And also that combos with the Storm Temple. Uh, I don't think I said this, but the Storm Temple, it hits a random target, so it can also hit me. And it can hit um, my skeleton. But now if my skeletons get hit and die, they heal me. So that's pretty OP. I like that. I'm going to go ahead and throw this down here. Just make this whole area even more dangerous. So um, I'm kind of playing with fire here, but I kind of have to. Hey, let's go. That's much better. Oh, that's not. How about this? Oh, that's not better. Okay. Got another grove. Hey, right, nice. We got four units there. That's awesome. I think I'm going to put the grove there. Uh, no orbs of expansion yet. Excuse me. Oh, we got two blood groves. So, I know the only thing about blood groves that's scary is they spawn these things. I forget what they're called, though. But they're very strong, so... I don't know. I don't know if this is a good idea. I might put a blood grove up here once I get the chance. And I think I'm just going to hold on to this one and not use it. Oh wow, I still have this level 1 ring. There's nothing really better though. So I think if I get another trait, I'm going to make it a um, like offensive trait. Because the first one I took was very defensive. Usually I like taking traits that kind of scale though. Like there's some that say uh, your skeleton gets... Your skeletons get 0 0.25 level per loop. And if you get that, like, first trait, it stacks up pretty nicely. Uh, I might switch those out. If I need the magic shield, I'll switch those out. Oh yeah, I was also going to say the Oblivion card. So the Oblivion card erases any established tiles. It also erases the monsters from the road. So if I'm like super low health and I'm about to finish, like let's say I was right here and about to die, I could just use the Oblivion card to erase all these enemies. Then I'd just be able to go to the finish. This is kind of sketch, but I have three potions. Yeah, nice. And there's no big deal that I drank those potions because uh, I'm right here at the campfire. So I'm going to get two more potions. Heck yeah, that archer wrecked them. Okay, I am going to put... I'll put a village up here. Put it right there. I'm gonna hold off on this. Well, the sooner I put it down, though, the sooner it could get ransacked, and that's when the ghouls get there. 
I'm thinking maybe right here is a good spot. Ooh, and it got a bandit camp right next to it. Okay, flesh golem. That's the thing that I was talking about that's terrifying. Uh, luckily, we have an archer to help us out, though, and we have... Um... Well, I was going to say we have the blood grove, but it does not appear that it works on them. But holy Jesus, it appears it gives us some really good items. Holy crap. Okay, so that's good, that's good, that's good, and that. Um, forget if orange or yellow is more rare. I think orange is more rare. Summon quality, regen, attack speed. I think this one's a little bit better. Asian. I think I'm gonna go this one just because I don't need all that regen. I think this one's better. I might switch it out later. But I don't necessarily need a bunch of regen. I have 0 0.6. Well, actually, you know what? I'm I'm gonna say I do need the regen. And I think I'm just gonna take the straight defense this ring over that ring. Um, I'd say they're about even though on how good they are. All right, another forest. And we got three oblivions So Yeah, I just need to be careful and use my oblivions appropriately. Got another storm temple. I don't know if it'll be necessary. I mean, I guess I could stack them. That'd be pretty nuts. <laughs> I don't know if it's a good idea, though. But it would be pretty nuts. I could put it here. <laughs> I think I might, actually. Yeah, I'll just make this space just absolutely crazy. Okay. We got a thicket. Heck yeah. Faster attack speed. The attack speed makes us spawn our skeletons faster, so that's always good to have. What's kind of cool with the Necromancer, um, you can see the skeletons getting better and better. Like, that's just a regular one, but this is one of the cool ones, Skeleton Warrior. And there's other really cool skeleton cards. Heck yeah. Alright, I'm kind of scared of this space. This is going to be a skeleton. Or not a skeleton, sorry. I'll have skeletons, of course. But um, two rat wolves, a flesh golem, and a vampire. <laughs> oh shoot, maybe I should have been afraid of this space. Jesus. Wow. All right. Well, I'll just resurrect. But god dang, I might die again. Oh, we got a level. Okay. We got a chance. Hero will get 0.5 magic shield for every summoned skeleton. Now, we need to use something now. I think we need this. Because the day's about to be up. No! Oh, dang it. I didn't mean to step into this. I think we're gonna die. Yeah. Dang it, dude. He hit me for 70 at the end there. Ah, that sucks. Alright. Well... I'm going to try that again, but I'm going to do a little outro for this video and then start another one. Alright, well, 
Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Unfortunately, we died at the end there. I accidentally right clicked twice to, um, I tried to pause it, but it was already paused and then I freaked out and got us killed. <laughs> oh, well, unfortunately we didn't get any orbs of expansion this time, but it happens. I'll catch you in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.